You're listening to DraftKings Network. Die. We're all gonna die. We're all gonna die. We're all gonna die. The oceans are all burning, and we're all wondering why. Let's turn on the news and find out how we're gonna die. Horrifying climate fact of the day, the floods this month in Greece and Libya have killed an estimated 11,317 people. Parts of Greece saw as much rainfall in one day as they typically see in a year and a half. And according to a preliminary new study, carbon pollution and global heating made the levels of rainfall up to 10 times more likely in Greece and 50 times more likely in Libya compared to a world in which humans had not changed the climate. Adam McKay, the director, made a very popular movie, Don't Look Up, hugely popular, and the message seems to have been entirely lost. No one learned anything. We continue (laughs) to burn fossil fuels and what is supposed to be a comedy. He could not keep up with the things happening. Stu got seriously took pieces out of his movie because they happened in real life when he was trying to joke about them Mm -hmm. because of how quickly the world is deteriorating. And furthermore, he has gone full-blown crazy now. Crazy. Because he talks to scientists, activists, and I'm worried about him, his mental health, so Metal Ark immediately hired him to be an intern. Sometimes you just don't want to know. You're better off not he knowing. He knows way too yeah, much. I and know. more, like more replays, yeah. Yes, yeah. He, kn- he knows way too much. Yeah. And Adam is here willing to be our intern and horrifying climate fact of the day guy. Uh, I'm not overstating anything, right? You're going fundamentally certifiably insane, uh, not just because you're an intern now for Metal Ark Media, but because the world is falling apart. <laughs> Yeah, well, you know, one of the ideas was I would be an intern and I would look up sports stat of the day. And I've heard Mike Schur do it and it sounds fun. So I was looking to kind of distract myself. And then you told me that the stat of the day is more climate stuff. So... I was just wondering, like, instead of the climate stuff, like, I looked up some really fun sports stat of the days, and those are a lot, like, more enjoyable. Can I, can I do those? Like, I have one, like, catcher with the most amount of putouts at home plate in the history of baseball. Like, can I do that instead? It's Jim Sunberg. Really? Um, huh. Yeah, like, can I, or only team to ever let two players go that will finish in the top five in MVP voting, and the team still is going to finish in first place, the Dodgers with Seager and Bellinger. Like, I, I really did not enjoy looking up the climate stat of the day. <laughs> okay, so your first act at Metal Arc is not to do the job you've been asked to do, but try and take Mike Schur's job? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it, it doesn't have to be baseball. Uh, we could, you know, I could read Guinness Book of World Records, like <laughs> who ate the most, uh, you know. Uh, uh, intern, what are those? do your job. Like this, we're not asking you right. for this stuff. Do what you're this, told. The yeah. climate thing, yeah. or you know what, if you want, how about this counterproposal? Back in my day isn't being done right now. So right. if you have, if you're longing like, for a better time today? back in the day, what yeah. happened to that well, today? Let's do haircut, back I mean. in my day because my climate stat is not cool, and so I'll do a back in my day. Perfect. So when I was younger, we didn't have cell phones. Uh, we called each other on phones, and it, we were cool with it, and it was nice. There, how about that? I don't believe you. Landlines. I was so hoping that he would come on and just be back in my day. There wasn't apocalyptic flooding everywhere, and we weren't dying. What have you found, McKay? You all want? Right, all right. No, all no, right. no, 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 uh, no, 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 told you, no, Jim no, 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 no. We will. How many did Sunberg have that? How many in his career? How many put us at home plate? Uh, so Sunberg was at 
43, Bob Boone, 38. Wow. Johnny Bench, 37, which surprised me. You would think Bench would have had more. I mean, he's one of the greatest catchers. Uh, by the way, none of those stats are real. That's wait a minute. Wait, what? Stat. Wait a minute. <laughs> Who's this Jim Serber? Wait a minute. Well, now this is global not... warming real or okay. is it not? Yes. Now I'm confused. Okay, this is what's happening now. No no one can believe anything you say about anything, and you're going to give people room to climb it <laughs> Is tonight. Greece a real place? You're not like, credible. Been there, it's fine. You're not credible, McKay. So it is wasn't Sunberg? And... Is there a nickname for Sunberg? Stu Guts? Sunny. Sunny? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Which takes us to the climate stat of the day. Um, How does it do sunny. that? How does it do that? Oh, sunny, because it was sunny. Sunny. Good transition, uh, yeah. intern. Uh, listen, I took him right Mc- there. McKay, you're responsible for a generation of funny, okay? Uh, the, the film, the funny film sunny. died at your feet. Uh, no, comedies can no longer be successfully made because uh, the, the world is turning upside down. And the last movie you made during a pandemic, was the most popular in Netflix history, and no one has gotten the message. No one. You made art. You made art in order to get people's attention. They watched, and they ignored the message. All right. Climate out of the day. What? Uh, how many equivalent to Hiroshima bombs detonating each day? How much heat? are we creating on the planet every single day from all the energy we're trapping from uh, uh, the fossil fuels we're burning and green housing on earth so mckay you're gonna the, have to get better at this i'm gonna all say right? two all right is it McKay, two? McKay, uh, let me explain something to you. That and was I, terrible. I hate that to do. Terrible. Well, I hate to do this to you. You have mm-hmm. to learn as an intern. You're, you've worked with some of the great talents in entertainment. Look, can can I? Let me step back for a second, just to explain something to the audience. I've admired this man for a long time. He created Funny or Die with Will Ferrell. It's an inspiration in a million different ways. Will Ferrell was on with Dan Patrick in Ireland. Dan Patrick got the funny. I got the or die. I got this guy. This broken man who doesn't know how to do entertainment and just give us a climate fact of the day that's efficient. He instead asked it as a question about hydrogen bombs that just confused Billy. I don't think you got the ore either, by the way. <laughs> who got the ore? You just got Stay to die. Classy, San Diego. There. <laughs> what 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 is the climate fact of the day going to be and what are you right. trying to say about no, hydrogen you're trying to get to it I it was mean, a trivia you, question yeah you have to guess i have so guessed two i guess 15. Every, i guess 10. how much heat every single day <laughs> are we trapping and creating on the planet expressed in terms of hiroshima bombs Hmm. Two. Fifteen. Fourteen every single second. Every second? What? Yeah. What's that number? That, that can't, can't be, be true. true. You made it up. That can't be true. I'm Jim, Jim Sunberg. That, that is not Jim Sunberg. That, that is, is made totally up. No, true. that is not true. That cannot Jim be true. Jim Sunberg's every lie se- now. Every second. You're saying- There's 86,400 seconds in a day. <laughs> Times 14. That seems like a lot. It's true. It's not true. McKay. (laughs) We'd be dead. (laughs) McKay, 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 this can't be true. Your climate fact of the day has to be a fact. You sound like... uh, This is a disaster. Someone Google it right now. I am trying. Look it up. I'm trying to Google it. I have no idea what to type in. I have no clue. McKay, you're just... Jim Sunberg. You're a disaster at Sunny. As as an intern... It's true. That is true. Roy, let me explain something to you. McKay's been asking me for two years. Hey, your shipping container. It doesn't seem like anyone cares that the world is ending. It doesn't I, seem like anyone in there cares. I do. So is my daughter. And, and, and he says, are they climate deniers? I can convince them. I'll talk them into it. I'll give them nothing but facts. And look at what he just did. Look at what he just that did. Is tr- it, that is 100. It went up. We were at 12. It went up. Bombs per second a year ago. 
Now it's 14. I did find something. Seven Hiroshima nuclear explosions every second are absorbed into the ocean. Ooh. But that's from a year ago, and I haven't been able to find 14. I have no idea what it means. What mean? I just read the headline, and now I'm reading it to you. To all the ocean is hot. Okay, I want to explain something to you. Uh, honest, honest. More Revealing more than I should. Celebrities are having all sorts of issues in Hollywood right now. We didn't even get to uh, Lucy's top 10 celebrities. Close the door. Right now. Sorry to interrupt you, uh, intern. <laughs> McKay, that's Jake Tapper. We'll, well, get, the door we'll get to Jake Tapper tomorrow. Just keep him there. Tapper, hold well, on Tapper's a second. There. We'll be right there in a second, Tapper. We'll talk to you tomorrow, but we'll be right there. Um, the thing that I wanted to tell the audience, I'm not making this up, okay? McKay, Valerie, my wife, has said to me a number of times over the last couple of years, you're going into business with that man? Please, dear God, get him out of our lives. Uh, stop talking to him. He is texting you. He is texting you, and your mental health is being affected because science and graphs suggest that the world's about to explode. And he's known it for several it's years. That's why I don't look at him, Dan. I yeah. know. That's the reason yeah. to stay away from graphs. Mm -hmm. and, and, and he's had to cancel meetings because he is dealing right now. He's creating yellow dot. He's created it in order to get attention to this because people need to start paying attention because it will only be civil unrest, civil disobedience that will get our leaders to stop acting like dumbasses who keep burning up fossil fuel. When we're long past the point of, holy shit, Greece and Libya are underwater, it's all here now. So McKay, you're gonna intern and you're gonna do this, but tell people how to help you at Yellow Dot as we try and uh, get your internship off the ground here. Are, are we, I just want to double check. There's no chance I can do a sports stat of the day. Uh, like how many free throws did Maurice Cheeks make in his career? I mean, that it could be a lot more. McKay, fun. tell people about no. Yellow Dot. Your first day has All been right. a disaster. Right. A disaster. All yellow right. Dot, that's uh, a fun. We, I just said, we tell have, them about uh, Yellow Dot. Yellow. You said Mello. Carmelo. We have Yellow Dot, which is a non-for-profit media org educating people about climate and also pressuring leaders. Also, you can give to Climate Emergency Fund, which directly funds activists, which is the most effective way to put pressures on leader leaders and industry so yeah give it if you can i'm not making this up just so that you know uh, i worry about him because he knows more than most he's talking to the scientists he's talking to the activists and he's worried on behalf of humanity and so if you want to do a nice thing adam mckay is going to help us here for a little while and yellow dot is a worthy cause thank you sir thank you be well Hey folks, it's Mike Ryan. How are you liking this football season so far? It's our national obsession, and there's only one thing that can somehow make football better. Think about it. You know what I'm about to tell you. Miller time. That's right, that beautiful white can of just 96 calories and 3.2 carbs per 12 ounce serving is exactly what you need to supplement your football experience from kickoff to the clock runs out. You just can't go wrong with Miller Lite right in your hand. It's the only light beer with a taste worthy of football. Because what's the point of having a beer if it doesn't taste like beer? There's so many competitors out there. The market is saturated. But Miller Lite is head and shoulders above everybody else because of that one thing. It's a light beer that tastes like beer. You get all the taste you crave without the calories. Make Miller time all season long. Make it Miller time all season long. Get Miller Lite delivered right to your door. Visit MillerLite.com slash Dan, or you can find it pretty much anywhere that sells beer. Celebrate responsibly. Miller Brewing Company, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. 96 calories and 3.2 carbs per 12 ounces.